What is going on guys, my name is James, or thanks Sia, and welcome to an installation tutorial to show you how to install the Town Builder mod to your Minecraft client. Okay, so as you'll see from the background, we are installing this mod on a Mac, however, the installation process is almost identical on the PC, so wherever possible, I will try and advise you PC guys as best I can. Okay, so there's two things you are going to need in order to make this mod work. The first thing you will need is to download the files from the Town Builder page. So this is what it looks like here. It's called the Town Builder mod. And at the bottom here under the download section, it will say Town Builder 1.1, which is the current version that is out, the sort of latest version. So we're going to download that. And I have stuck it on my desktop here. It will come in a zip file if you're on Mac. Do not unarchive un this. Just leave it as it is um, because we don't need to unzip it in order to get it to work. And the second thing we need is Mod Loader. Now, this is fairly standard for most Minecraft mods. It is one of Risugami's mods, so you can either type in Mod Loader to Google, or you can navigate to Risugami's mods page, and if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see Mod Loader 1.2.5. Okay, so once you've downloaded that, just stick it in the desktop for convenience. And yeah, these two things are all we need in order to get the mod to work. Now, I have made myself a fresh Minecraft client. You can do this in a couple of ways. You can either force update it, or you can do it the way I do it, which is to go into Applications, go into your name, go into Library, go into Application Support, and then go to your Minecraft folder, take all of this contents, delete it, and then just log in with Minecraft. Either way, it's kind of up to you, really. But uh, the most important thing is, if you are going to do this, obviously back up your save file, so you don't lose them and create yourself a fresh Minecraft client. Uh, just incidentally, this Minecraft folder to all you PC guys is located in your app data slash roaming file. Uh, and, you know, if you can navigate to that, then it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so now the first step is to install Mod Loader. So what we're going to do is go into our Minecraft folder here and we're going to go into the bin and we're going to find the Minecraft.jar. So we're going to right click this and we're going to go to open with now. I have a program called Springy, and what this is is an alternative unarchiving tool, uh, which is very, very good. So if you haven't got Springy, I would highly recommend you get it. But alternatively, if you don't, then you can use Archive Utility, or you can rename it Minecraft.zip, or if you're on a PC, you can use WinRAR. So I'm going to open up the Minecraft.jar and archive it with Springy, and it's going to pop up like this. And then the first thing we need to do is get our mod loader, literally just take all of the files inside it and drag it into the Minecraft.jar. And it will ask us if we want to overwrite stuff, just click on apply to all and yes, and then that's that. So before we exit this screen, the most important thing is to go and delete the meta slash INF folder, otherwise it will not work. So all you need to do is right click and delete it and get rid of it for good. Okay, so now we are left with the bin folder here. What we need to do is go one screen backwards into our normal Minecraft folder. Okay, so you'll notice here that if you actually run Minecraft, a folder will pop up that will say mods, but if we haven't ran it yet, uh, then it won't pop up. We can either run it, you know, and make it pop up that way, or we can just add a new folder. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on new folder, and what I'm going to do is call it mods uh, in all lowercase lettering, and then I'm going to open up this folder that we just made and drag the town builder zip into it. So that's very, very simple. Basically, that is it. It's, it's all done. So what we're going to do is take a look and see if it has worked. We are going to log in like so. And as you can see, there's no black screen, which is always a good sign. And our Minecraft has popped up. So we're going to go single player. We're going to go creative, more world options. We're just going to make a super flat world for convenience. And we're going to go create new world. Now, what we're going to do next is go into our creative inventory and we're going to find the uh, tool that we need. So here it is, the town builder. That's a good sign that the mod has worked and we're just going to have a go very quickly. So uh, we'll go like that, save point. Uh, we'll go like that and we'll go uh, like that. And then what should we make? Let's make a, uh, let's make a house el wedge okay so let's go maybe one two three four we're gonna uh, maybe one two three uh, and then we're gonna go b and right click and there we go there is our l wedge house so as you can see the mod has worked successfully i hope you have a lot of fun i hope this tutorial helped uh, thank you very much for watching as always guys it's been a pleasure thanks and see you